What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I wanted to dive into the latest release of Pop! OS 22.04. As always, our focus is on Linux and helping you step into the tech world with ease. So if you're excited about exploring this new release with me, let's get started. Alright, so I'm at the site for Pop! OS and Pop! OS is developed by System76, which is a company known for its Linux-based computers. And this OS is designed for creators, developers, and computer science professionals who need a robust and efficient platform. Now, Pop! OS 22.04 continues this legacy with its focus on productivity, customization, and performance. And if you guys didn't know this, this OS is built on Ubuntu but with significant tweaks and enhancements that make it stand out, especially for those who value a clean and streamlined user experience. So quickly, let me show you guys how to download it right fast. If you go here, click download, it'll pop up this page and you have a couple different options here. You got a Raspberry Pi version, you have an Nvidia version, which comes with the Nvidia drivers pre-installed. And you also have a regular LTS version. Now I know you guys, the latest version of Pop! OS, well actually Ubuntu will be coming out in the next couple months, which will be 24.04. But I just haven't looked at System76 in a while and checked out Pop! OS. So that's why I want to go ahead and show you guys at least before the latest version comes out but all you have to do is make your selection here if you have nvidia just go down and download the nvidia version or if you want the regular one you can install the regular one and it also talks about disabling secure boot you know in your bios to install pop os and one cool thing about this distro when you get it installed you can set it up to where let's say you're selling a system because that's essentially how they built the operating system because they'll pre-install it for you when you order a pc from their company they have laptops they have desktops you know servers all that stuff and they'll have pre pop os installed or pre-installed on the system and it'll look like you're buying a operating system out the store you know how you can go through the setup set up your accounts and all that good stuff as soon as you turn on the system it'll go through that process now let's go down and hop over to my virtual machine so i can walk you guys through the install right fast all right, so I have my virtual machine built and we're logged into the live IS. So as you can see, the first step is selecting your language. Yeah, once you boot up, it'll go right into the installer and, and actually go into the desktop environment. You could play around with it from here if you wanted to. But let's go down and hit select, select our English. So select whatever, you know, language is for you. United States for me, keyboard layout, English. I'm gonna use the default. And then you wanna do a clean install. You can also customize your install and this will allow you to manage the partitions you know set it up however you want to i'll just go through the clean install and that'll go through and actually erase the disk use the whole disk i believe i gave it 64 gigabytes of space for the virtual board disk you can go in here and change it if you need to you can select it right there and then hit erase and install and the next thing it'll ask you for your name and then let's type that in that'll also be a user account let's go down and hit next there and we can set up a password right fast and we can type that in twice as long as they match you should be good to go hit next and you can set up encryption one thing i'm going to do is not encrypt all you have to do is hit don't encrypt and let's just hit that and now it'll go through the install and i'll be back when it finishes and like you see this installation is super simple it walks you through the full process and then once it finishes we'll restore it so be back in a sec all right so the installation is complete all we have to do is hit restore device and it'll shut down and bring it back up all right so we logged into our new system and what you'll see is a welcome to pop up and this will allow you to finish the configuration of the setup of the system so you can set it up where you have a dock that extends to the edges you can set it up where it kind of looks like mac os where it doesn't extend all the way so and it'll expand as you add things to the dock so super cool and that's one cool thing about it they got a lot of customization you can do with the system workspace button and so they'll allow you to look at the work different workspaces if you click here show workspaces 
which is super cool. We show the application button and also up here workspaces. You can click that as well. That'll show the workspaces and your application button. That'll allow you to look for certain applications. And also daytime, you can change how this looks if you want it. If you want to remove those two and put the time over there, you know, you're cool to do that too. So let's hit next right here. Open the switch application launcher. So yeah, you have that option. You could, it kind of just talks about how to use it. Hit next. Then also you have your gestures. And if you use the latest version of Ubuntu, it probably all looks familiar to you. So let's hit next there. You can set the dark theme or the light theme. I'm gonna keep it dark. I, you guys know I like the dark themes if you've been watching the channel for a while. Privacy, I always turn off location services. You can turn it on if you need to. Let's hit next there. It's gonna ask you your time zone. I'll just put Los Angeles and there we go so los angeles and we can do california yeah there we go so it'll pick pst all you have to do is type that in or whatever and then you got your online services like i said just like we want to you can connect to all your online services google cloud microsoft Flickr, you know all that good stuff i'm gonna skip it and then you can start using pop os at that point so setup is complete and the first thing you want to do is update the system so i would type sudo apps updates and then also Put the ampersands in there sudo apps upgrade and this will get us through all our updates for the system and it'll check you know what i'm saying there are settings on the system that allow it to check that's why it's popping up here at the top it's basically saying you do have updates available so i just ran it again the update command that way it'll refresh the repositories and then go through and run through and do our updates and then that was Two of the main things I wanted to show you guys, at least on the desktop, the workspaces. You can go to different, you know, your workstations. You can add more workspaces if you open up, you know, more applications. Like I just opened up the file manager right there. If we click workspaces, it'll automatically create another workspace. You know what I'm saying? If you're using the workspaces, so it's dynamic. It'll add workspaces as you need them, but that's super cool. So there's one other thing I want to show you guys. If you go under here, this is the pop shop. This will allow you to install all your application. As you can see, our updates are done. So I'm gonna go down and close out our terminal. We don't need it anymore, but this is the pop shop. This is where you can get all your applications. Right now it's refreshing. As you can see, it's getting app information and there you go. You'll start seeing it pop up. So you got a lot of cool little applications that it'll recommend to you. This is the pop picks up here at the top. So Tylix, I did a video on that a while back. Screenshot tool, which it's already, it should be already be one on here. A virtual machine manager, a signal desktop, telegram desktop. And like I said, it's the pop picks and then recently updated. So this goes through, show you the updated applications that have been updated recently. Not that they're installed. They have been updated, like they're being developed on and they have a new updated version of the application. And then they have the categories down here. You go through with all your different categories and start whatever you need for the system. It all depends on what you're trying to do. And if you go into here under settings, and then there there are the sources. So you can click on there. They do have flat pack support. So you get to go with that. And I just kind of wanted to show you guys that. I'm not I'm not gonna go too deep, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, the pop shop is awesome. You can get all your applications installed. And then one cool thing I should have kind of showed you here. You'll see, you'll see throughout the operating system, you'll see shortcuts. So control S that'll open up the sources when you have this application open. Automatic updates, you can hit control U that'll open that up. Updates and install software. If you click that, it's shortcuts all over the place for this operating system. I know it's a lot of people that use strictly their keyboard and not their mouse in a lot of situations, especially when it comes to whatever operating system they're using. Sometimes it's quick to just use shortcuts on your keyboard versus using a mouse you could do pretty much anything and almost anything with your keyboard that you could do with your mouse and it's a lot of times it's quicker because you don't have to you know move your hand off the keyboard you could just open up something boom good to go and then lastly all I want to do is show you guys how to customize if you go under settings this is basically all your settings so not gonna go through all of that I'm saying but you do have options to make all your settings changes that you want on here like for instance your desktop so this is what i wanted to get to the appearance so you can go to backgrounds you can change that up you know put some super cool backgrounds in there 
that they have available for you, which are super cool. Actually, I like that one. Kind of like that uh, that look right there. That's that's dope right there. That's an awesome picture. I might steal some of these. I think I do that on almost every one that I play around with. Every distro, I'm always stealing wallpapers from the operating system. Let's go appearance. So this allow you to make changes. If you want it to be that light look, you could change that. You can modify the dock, which we kind of modified it during the configuration, the initial configuration. But you do have those options to go in here and mess with it again if you want to. And also some more changes as well. And then also with your workspaces. But that's pretty much it. And all I want to show you guys with this distro. So that wraps up my review of Pop! OS. It's not really a review, it was just a quick look, but I hope this video has given you a comprehensive look at what this OS has to offer. So whether you're a long time Linux user or just starting out, Pop! OS is definitely one of those distros worth trying out, especially since it's very user friendly, as you can see throughout the install and also getting to the operating system. It's not that difficult you so don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell for more linux and tech content here at the keep it techie channel until next time hope you guys have a wonderful day and of course keep it techie